This old federal building will soon mean a new home for some First Nation individuals in the city. For the developer, Rick Summers, it's been a whirlwind project. We bid on the project we closed last December, so, and we're, we expect to have occupancy this December. So, and basically within 12 months, we got a permit, we, we did the demolition, and we've, we've created, built it out. And as you can see, there's uh, the entire third floor is essentially done, just some finishing touches. And then uh, the second floor will be done soon. It's a development partnership between the Mohawks of the Bay of Quinte, Garden River First Nation, Missinabe Cree First Nation, and Summers and Company. 19 of the 38 luxury units are affordable housing. Priority will be for members of the three First Nations and then expanded to other Indigenous and non-Indigenous groups. So there's a mixture. The unit types are, we have 38 units. There were some requirements based on the bid and we exceeded the, the requirements and we got a couple more apartments. And so we have bachelor, a lot of studio apartments. We have a lot of um, one bedrooms and the one we're in now is a one bedroom plus a den. And so for the most part, it's, it's, it's studios and one bedrooms, one bedroom a den, like a two bedroom. And, uh, and again, there's only 38 units. The building was accessed through the Federal Lands Initiative, which is a program that supports the transfer of surplus lands and buildings for the development of affordable housing. And there's a lot of excess government buildings. So, to, so we thought it was, it's a good decision and very good to, to, there's a big political thing going on right now. They're talking about all the excess federal buildings. So we think it's good as, as developers and seeing it's a, it's a natural, logical uh, solution to a serious problem. Frank Horn is the director of Indigenous Partnerships with Summers and Company. He says the idea for Indigenous so, Partnerships like this nice began day. three years ago. Nice He's pleased with the outcome. I'm hopeful that the partnership and the, uh, the, the City of Belleville and all the partners at the table are as excited as I am. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing families that need places to live, living here, and um, the offers of Indigenous community, um, the ones that uh, will end up living here and making their home. We hope that they will love it as well. According to Horn and Summers, more partnerships with other First Nation groups are in the works in Ontario. Annette Francis, APTN National News, Belleville.